All right, but the bottom line is, we ain't eating two days. This is all we got. This is I chow. I will never eat an armadillo. The situation is, we're out in the woods exploring around our camp, and we got caught in a wildfire. Well, listen, normally the fire will burn in the direction the wind is blowing, so what we need to do is go to a perpendicular flank left or right of the wind. So that's the way we need to go. All right, let's get out of here. So now we're going to head west, but it seems like that fire is everywhere. Careful of that. Wow. I know, I know. I'm just getting some of that heat. This is a dead tree stem that just burnt down. It's incredible. Hey, honey. Look, dead critter. Wow. Oh. Some dead dillo, honey. Oh, look, it got squashed. He did not make it. And you know what? That right there is some good eating. I will never eat an armadillo. <laughs> honey, that's good food right there, OK? You know how lucky we are? Most of the critters either get away or get scarfed up by predators right after the fire. We found some dillo. We're eating some dillo. I am not going to eat an armadillo. Why? Armadillos are the only other animal on the entire planet other than human beings that catch and carry leprosy. I used to be a Special Forces medic, and I worked in Carville, Louisiana at one of the only two leprosariums in the USA when it was still active, OK? Meaning? This animal here was used to study leprosy to help to fix humans, OK? Well, oh, that was very charitable of it. It still doesn't mean it's not immune from it. They carry leprosy. No, I'm not going to eat it. I've been to India. I've seen what leprosy can do to people. Baby, listen, OK? This thing may have leprosy, can be a carrier of leprosy, but the bottom line is when we clean it and we cook it really well, we kill the bacterium that causes it, and it is completely safe. But I've got to get it in my fingers. Honey. What if it stay, What if the germs stay in and give me leprosy? OK, well, listen. I'll clean the dang thing, all right? But the bottom line is, we ain't eating two days. This is all we got. This is chow, OK? Now, you see them logs over there smoking? That's going to be the cooking for the chow. But we're eating this, all right? So come on. I'll cook it, I'll clean it, and then if you don't want to eat it, you go hungry. I think if we found that, we might be able to find something else. Well, you keep looking then. You find something, we'll eat that. OK. I'll go back to that little creek there and uh, clean this thing up, and you work on making this uh, smoldering stump into a fire I, course. I will clean this, because I am such a germ foe. You've got an open wound in your hand if there's any kind of germs to go in. I'm going to make sure there's no lumps on it first. I mean, there's a lump there, I and mean, that could be leprosy. Baby, there's lumps all over it. It's an armadillo. I mean, look at it. Okay. What a weird it's creature. It's got a lumpy little shell. That's what it has, all right? I've never seen a real armadillo before. Really? Yeah. It's like a cross between an anteater and a woodlouse. Well, I can tell you, I've eaten plenty of them, and they taste just fine, OK? What about the bacteria that's going to be in my fingernails? Well, honey, we'll just wash your hands and clean your fingernails. Oh, You're really going to clean that? Yep. You know you're scared of leprosy, because you're looking out for my cup. Sweetie. I need my knife. I feel queasy when I lie down, but instead, I've got a gut, a singed, half-cooked armadillo with burst guts that may or may not have leprosy. Touch something, I don't know what it is. I think the most obvious thing to do is just get its shell off. No! No, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that in there? I don't want to eat that. What's that? We found this thing dead in the wood. This is tantamount to eating roadkill. Time's like now, we should have married a stockbroker. Out you come. Oh, it's like a massive prawn. It's like a huge, gigantic shrimp. Oh, yuck. Oh, it's so horrible. Got it. Hell, now what? Wow, it's quite a... That is good survival food. Fat, of course, is very high in calories, which is something we desperately need right now. We've been going non-stop these last two days without even a bite of food. So this will give us the energy we need to make it out of here alive. You don't look happy. Not happy. Fresh linens for you? Your kitchen utensils, all awaiting home. Don't kiss me, I've got armadillo blood on my lips. Oh, 
sit. I'm absolutely right. exhausted. Enjoy that tea. I'm real proud of my Sergeant Major wifey for cleaning that dilla. I know she didn't want to eat it at first, but now we're going to have a good meal tonight. Yeah, hold that for a second. Yeah. Position this. That way we can get to eating right away on these little pieces. Here we go. This is smelling pretty good. Well, I mean, listen, listen to that pat. Listen to it. Can you hear it? Yeah. That's a good sound. Yeah, it is. I can see all the fat in that thing. You've made us a nice little home. Yeah, that's the least I could do you out there, you know, cleaning all that dillo. I'm proud of you. Thank you. My thumb thanks you. Oh, this one's jerky. Good. What do you think? Ready? It smells like the pink bit of pork. Mmm. So Dillo ain't half bad, huh? This is really good meat. <laughs> Leprosy aside, <laughs> you can feel the kind of the fat content is quite high. That's just crispy fat. That's like pig belly. I mean, it tastes so good because we are so hungry. Is that why? I think it's just good meat. Good eat. I should never fly to my to a No, we can't. I think This is really good meat. All these years I've teased you for eating roadkill. And little did I know that you knew something. Mm. First lap. Mm. <laughs> 